When we initially sold this project, I don't think we had any designs, we just had a script. And then Lauren began to design the versions of the characters, specifically the roommates and the dog. Yeah, we decided uh, for the presentation to the network that we would come up with a, a lineup that we really liked, and then two other alternate versions to give them the illusion of choice and something to shoot down. And so the first one was the 30s version, which is a style of animation that I love, but I knew that wasn't really appropriate for the show. Generally, people, with, when presented with things of varying levels of cartooniness, will almost always go for the most realistic. I think also when we showed them designs, one very high-powered executive saw the designs of Posey and Jim and assumed they were the parents and said, oh, I like the parents, and we never corrected him. I like think that we I think we made the right decision yeah. with those. I think that we did pick the best combination. We had the more realistic Jim and Posey, and the slightly less realistic Kevin and Andy, but they were all sort of combined. You didn't know? I can't believe you've been Gus and Wally's neighbors all this time, and you barely know anything about them. Not true. I know they wake up at eight o'clock every morning. Wally brews coffee while Gus reads the funnies to him. Isn't it sweet? And then they shower together and sing college fight songs. Then they either argue or have gay sex, and then it's off to work. That's the 30s version of Posey. And then Posey just got much more attractive. Every, all the people on the animation side found her very difficult to draw in the face, especially. Jim has almost always seen with a drink or a hamburger in his hand. He's sort of like Jughead. Note that Jim wears a bowling shirt that says Mac. But a lot of people thought that was his name, but he has a vintage bowling shirt. Yep, there he is. That's the 30s version of Jim. That was back when it was Jim Kubeck, not Jim Kubeck, when the show was called The Downtowners and not Mission Hill. Oh, that's right. Come on, you guys. Aren't you going to help me celebrate? I'm sorry, Andy. I'm just not comfortable celebrating your sordid accomplishments. Yeah, I'd rather just eat in my room. It took a while to get Andy, because like, like many leading men, it, it's hard to sort of focus in on exactly what you find appealing about the guy. Everyone else is a, sort of a distinctive novelty character. And Andy's kind of an Archie slash Reggie combo. And I think we all know that Kevin is Dilton Doily. <laughs> <laughs> got the khakis, the blue Oxford shirt with the sleeves rolled up, and tennis shoes. You're not giving up cartooning, are you? No, maybe, I don't know. Oh, come on! What you need is inspiration. Here, I'll do something funny and you draw a cartoon of it. Stokey, you'll see there are a couple different ways. Basically, I think we decided we needed a dog that looked dumb enough. The biggest innovation was his giant head, probably, and expressionless face. A lot of times, too, with, with Stogie, we had to persuade the lead artists and directors from the animation to eliminate all expression from his face because they made him look too smart, or like he was thinking too much. There's something about those eyes being exactly in the center. And we also did the innovative uh, asterisk uh, on the butt. That's right. Stogie, no! Why can't you just eat your own puke like every other dog? These are expression sheets to give the range of, of, of ways you can draw this face for the character layout artists and storyboard guys. Um, and you can see certain different levels of messiness to this hair. He also did distinct stages of drunkenness. Yes, and the last stage is uh, his appears X's. <laughs> Embarrassment, up all night. There's Dungeon Master. <laughs> Everything is falling into place. <laughs> An interesting note about Kevin saying bling blong. First of all, that was before the word bling existed, as Ed is does now. But it was based on a guy we actually knew who did that for real. And when he was in our high school, he would say bling blong blong bling 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 blong bling a blong a blong a bling and things like that to himself while he was doing math problems, usually. And it was so weird that we thought it had to be memorialized. <laughs> bling is to blong as blingity bling is to blingity blang. And there's the whole gang. And there's the special WOM signature. Yes, Weinstein, Oakley, and Wallen. That was going to be on all the merchandise that you never saw. 